check out these beards. Right in the middle, you see a Portland man, and he is looking to snap up the bragging rights for his beard in a contest that has him competing against the best facial hair in the country. It is the Wall Man of the Year contest, and we have Robert Rouse. You are Portland's representative? I am. That's amazing. You look amazing, love the beard. How did you get chosen besides your amazing facial hair? What's the process to become Portland's representative for Man of the Year? There was only one day to enter the contest. I was riding my bike downtown through Pioneer Square, and I saw a free beard trimming station set up by the Wall Corporation. So they trimmed my beard for free, and then they said, would you like your picture taken to enter this contest <laughs> for the Portland Man of the Year? And I said, certainly. What? So and that was it. I took, they took my picture, I smiled, and I got a call a few weeks later saying I won. When you got the call, like, were you expecting that? Did you get to scope out the competition at all in Pioneer Square, or were you just like, Oh, it's not going to be me. There's going to be some guys with like, really huge beards. I did, I did kind of wonder if I could win because I'm not a beard competitor. There are professional people out there who really put a lot of energy into their beard. I just kind of like to have a beard. Right. There's you beardless, or maybe in the like, beginning <laughs> stages of your beard. Here it comes. Right. Have you gone through like different phases? Seems like different That's styles of it. So one. sometimes you don't trim at all. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you go with the goatee look. Right. How do you describe it, what you have in, in that picture? Because even now, it's, it's changed a little bit, right? Like throughout the contest, because it, it grows, it it's a thing that grows on your face. Every day. Every day is a new <laughs> day. It's an opportunity to do something different with your hair. It's, it's a great form of self-expression. I love it. Yeah, Zach is coming in for the extreme close-up. Zach, you can't see Zach's face behind the camera, but you've got a beard going. Also beardy. Are you jealous Looking of good. Robert's beard here? Yeah, uh, I've been growing mine for about 12 years. <laughs> And Wait, it's actually? Not, yeah, it's not even that good yet. I, I believe you. <laughs> Zach, you look great. Al also has a beard. He's scratching it over there. Does yours get itchy? Clearly, that's the, what the KGW men are struggling with at this point. They're nine days into oh, their beards. At nine days, it's the worst. Uh, I encourage every man who's interested in growing a beard to wait it out. Give it three weeks, four weeks. Ooh, okay. The itch stops, and you get used to it, and then you'll never go out in the cold and feel the same right. again. It's so worth it. Yeah, it's a good thing it's no-shave November and not like no-shave July or something because it could actually help keep you warm. It does. So you're probably wondering why, why is it the Wall Man of Portland? So you said they stopped by here for one, one day. You got to try out, have your picture taken. But basically they visited the top 10 most facial hair friendly cities in America. Right. With a little mobile barber shop, like you said, got your, your, your face trimmed. And Portland was number nine on the list. And there's your contestants. How do you feel like you're doing compared to them? There's your competition. Well, these... These are some very handsome men, and <laughs> I, I really can't say uh, I can't say anything. I, I think they're they're wonderful In case competition. they're watching, we don't want them to yeah vote I hope, against you. I hope that the good people of Portland and my friends and family will vote for uh, for the man yes. of Portland. Uh, but these are some some great beards right here. I and you can you vote props. on the wall grooming Facebook page through December first. And we just found out you told me you can only vote once. Right. Unless you have like multiple Facebook pages. This, yeah. This is what my mom told me. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Robert's mom, for finding it. I hope you're watching. I love, though, how they picked, it's not just the beard, mm -hmm. how they picked uh, the representatives for each of the 10 most facial hair friendly cities in America. They got general enthusiasm for facial hair, well groomed facial hair, potential for brand ambassadorship for Wall. Because it's not like you just win. You get the prize money. There is prize money. There was. I won $500. What? Already? Yes, it was great. I bought a new backpack. Nice. I was, I was trying to think, like, could you just carry, like, a bunch of beard oil? Like, what kind of facial hair kind of things could you have in your backpack? <laughs> you never know. But then you'll win a bigger prize, more money, if you, you win the best in the country. Yes, I'm excited about winning the $1,000 grand prize. I'll buy a new bike. Oh, think of how glorious your beard could look biking on a Slowly. brand new bike through America. Everyone vote for Robert. But also, you win, you, you do, they do have to consider the brand ambassadorship because they can't, pick some guy that's really mean or no fun, doesn't love his beard, because you that comes with the deal too, right? Right, I've started using their products since they, uh, oh. since I won the competition. I've been using some beard oil and that helps to keep things moisturized here. I've been shampooing my beard every day with a beard that, a uh, beard shampoo that they gave me. Yeah. And I've been using their trimmer, I really like the trimmer. It looks nice, looks trimmed, it looks, it looks clean. 
which sometimes you can't say about beards. There's your very, that's you. That, the first picture doesn't even look like you anymore. <laughs> is your beard, is it now part of you? It's going to be for everything? It I is. Think? One of these pictures was me after I started growing my beard and I shaved it one day just to try something different. My wife looked at me and said, no. She's like, I forgot what your <laughs> face looked like. If you had one sentence to tell the people at home, because they have through December 1st to go on the wall grooming Facebook page to vote for you, what's your like one line, here's why my beard is the best? It's really thick. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. There you go. Go for, go for Robert Rouse for the wall man of Portland. Good luck. Thank you. You clearly have so many bragging rights already. You get more if you win. And I'm very impressed. So excellent job so <laughs> Thanks. far. <laughs> Thanks for having me on your well, show.